everyone! For today's video, I will be sharing to you the basic features of the Jedona compiler for Java application. But before we start, don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe to this channel for more tutorials. Java is a general purpose programming language that is class based and object oriented. It is intended to let application developers to write once, run anywhere, or WORA meaning that compiled Java code can run on all platforms that support Java without the need for recompilation. Java applications are typically compiled to bytecode that can run on any Java virtual machine or JVM regardless of the underlying computer architecture. Basically, Jedona compiler for Java app is your go-to app, meaning you can use it anytime and anywhere. Whenever an idea or a program suddenly pop up out of your head, you can simply open the app and write your codes. You can download this app at Play Store or App Store. So here are the features of the app. It compiles and runs your programs, view program output or detailed error, advanced source code editor with syntax highlighting, bracket completion and line numbers, open, save, import, and share Java files, and customize the editor. The limitations are, internet connection is required for compilation, maximum program running time is 20 seconds, some file system, network, and graphics functions may be limited, this is a batch compiler so interactive programs are not supported. For example, if your program provides an input prompt, Enter the input tab prior to compilation. So, let's start! This is the user interface of the application. Before we create a project, let us discuss first the basic features of Jedona. There are basically four options or tabs below. The source, input, output, and reference. So, let us start with the source tab. The source tab includes the console interface of any other Java programming applications like jCreator. They have similar interface so it won't be difficult to adapt with its functions. As you can see, we have a green gear icon on the upper left corner of the screen. This is the settings. If you try to click the icon, you can find the options on how you customize the application according to your preference. You can change the font size fun family, and the editor theme where you can switch from dark to white. You can always cancel by clicking the cancel option, and you can always reset the app by clicking the circular arrow at the upper right corner of the settings screen. There is also a premium version of the app and you can upgrade anytime. Next is the folder icon at the upper center part of the screen next to the project name. As you can see, the project name's extension name is .java. This is an indication that you can compile this file. If you click on the folder icon, it will lead you to four options. It is either you try to open, clear, find, or find and replace. So let us tackle each one of them. If you click open, you will be directed to the creation of folders and files or projects. On the right side of the back arrow, you can see a file cabinet icon. If you click the icon, you will find the different location options where you can save all of your file. On the right side of the screen, you will find two icons with green plus sign. One is blue and the other one is white. If you click the blue folder icon, you will be asked to enter a folder name. If you would like to organize your files, you can create separate folders. If you would like to move, rename, and delete the created folder, you can just swipe your finger to the left and the options will appear. Next is the white file icon. You are also asked to enter file name for your Java programs. Make sure to include pertinent names for your Java file to avoid confusions. Note, do not delete or remove the .java extension name. If you are done, you can click OK and it will lead you on the editor. If you would like to export, move, rename, and delete the file, you can always swipe your finger to the left. And if you would like to switch to another file, just click the file to open. Next is the clear option. 
This option will ask you if you want to clear the file. If you press yes, it will only clear the codes that you type and not the entire thing. Other option is the find and find and replace. Its feature is basically finding a specific word by typing on the text box. You can also replace the word that you are trying to find by simply typing on the replace text box. After that, you need to click replace all so that it will take effect. Next is the green right arrow at the upper right cor corner of the screen. This is the arrow similar to F5 in other programming applications. If you would like to debug or to run your program, click this arrow and it will redirect you to the output tab. Going back to the editor screen, wherein you can see the different numbers on the leftmost part of the screen. These lines are the line numbers. It actually tells you the number of lines of codes that you are working on. This is also helpful, especially in determining the line of error on your program. So how are you going to code in Jedona? It is quite simple. You just have to write your statements and codes inside the curly braces. For example, you would like to display the word welcome. All you have to do is to type system.out.println welcome and click the compile icon. Make sure to check my other videos on how to code using Java programming language for more tutorials. Next tab is the input tab. Since Jadona app is a batch compiler, interactive programs are not supported. For example, if your program provides an input prompt, enter the input tab prior to compilation. So you need to type your inputs on this tab and compile it later on. The output tab is obviously where you can display your output after clicking the compile button. Here, you can actually see whether your program worked or not. It will also show you not just the answer, but also the errors and number of errors that you committed. It will also give some suggestions by including arrows that points to the error part and tips on how you are going to solve the errors. You can also share your output by simply clicking the share icon on the upper left corner of the screen. And lastly is the reference tab. Here, you can find the quick intro, tutorial, and shortcuts. Quick intro includes sample source codes that you can use. It has the classic hello world display sample source code, reading input, variable assignment, and other source codes you can choose from. On the tutorial, you can basically find everything about learning the Java language. It has links that will redirect you on the different tutorials that are very helpful, especially if it is your first time to use Java as your programming language. And lastly, the shortcuts. It contains a list of shortcuts that you can use, especially if you're using external keyboard. So these are the basics and features of the Jedona compiler for Java application, and I hope you learned something today. Do not forget to like and subscribe for more tutorials. Thank you and God bless.